They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky, but one Adams Family member is getting her own show, and it will also mark the comeback of legendary filmmaker Tim Burton. But will Burton's signature gothic style, partnered with Scream Queen Jenna Ortega's Wednesday, be worthy of the Adams Family name? I'm Matt Rogers, and join me today as we take a look at what we know so far about the upcoming Netflix series, Wednesday. Now I'm bringing all the latest news and updates for all your favourite movies and TV shows and delivering it straight to your subscription feed. So to stay up to date and support the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. Now the Adams Family movies from the 90s are probably the most Tim Burton movies that are not made by Tim Burton that I've ever seen, so it really was a no-brainer putting him at the helm of the show. Interestingly, Burton was the first director tapped for the 90s films, but scheduling conflicts with Batman Returns meant it went to Barry Sonnenfeld. We were also supposed to get a stop-motion adaptation with Burton producing in 2010, but that was cancelled three years later. I don't know if this is a controversial take, but Burton has really fell off since the earlier 2000s. Don't get me wrong, I'm a diehard fan of Burton's, but his recent work just isn't what it used to be. Try comparing his most recent movie Dumbo to classics like Sweeney Todd and Edward Scissorhands, they're not even close to being in the same league. Disney has always held Burton back from being as dark as he wants to be, and he was even fired by them in the 80s for the original short film he made for Frank and Weenie. But it seems that he kind of sold out to make a more mainstream movie with a remake of Dumbo, which was completely forgettable. And we don't need another adaptation that's child-friendly of The Addams Family, as we got that in 2019 and 2021 with the animated versions. Again, forgettable. But now Burton is returning to make television for the first time since the year 2000. And without Disney's shackles on this project, let's hope Netflix gave him free creative reign to go as dark as he wants. The synopsis we've been given for Wednesday is the series will be a coming of age supernatural mystery comedy focusing on Wednesday Addams and her years as a high school student at Nevermore Academy, where she attempts to master her psychic powers, stop a monstrous killing spree of the town's citizens and solve the supernatural mystery that affected her family 25 years ago, all while navigating her new relationships. Personally, I am really hoping that this show won't get mixed in with the teen dramas Netflix is oh so fond of, namely series like Riverdale and Sabrina. I know they obviously found a large market for the high school teen demographic, but I'm begging for them to be edgier and of a higher quality than what we've come to expect from Netflix originals. What gives me hope is lead actress Jenna Ortega, seen here in Wednesday's iconic outfit. Some may know her from the most recent Scream installment, but what made her catch my attention is this year's A24 slasher X, which she was fantastic in. So she's proven herself as a great horror actress, and I have a lot of faith that she's got the chops to play an iconic role such as this, and boy does she look the part. Christina Ricci, who played Wednesday in the 90s adaptations, is a tough act to follow and is who most people think of when they think of the character. But fans of Ricci needn't fret as she actually will be acting in this show also. Her character is yet to be announced and it's unclear if she will be playing an older version of Wednesday or another character altogether. Joining Ortega and Ricci will be Louise Guzman as Gomez Adams, Isaac Ordonez as Pugsley Adams, and Game of Thrones Gwendolyn Christie, who will play the principal of Wednesday's new school, and the former school rival of Morticia Adams, who will be played by Catherine Zeta-Jones. The role of Morticia is one that I'm a lot more protective of as I'm such a huge Angelica Houston fan and feel no other portrayal of the character has come close to hers, but I get they needed a younger actress to play her at this age and I'm willing to give her a chance. At the writer's desk we have Alfred Goff and Miles Miller who are most notably known for writing the Superman prequel Smallville. Being a huge Superman fan this comes as good news. Filming began for Wednesday in September 2021 and concluded on March 30th, 2022 on, get this, a Wednesday. We'll likely be seeing this show's eight episode season premiere late 2022. But what are you wanting from this spin-off? Are you excited for more Tim Burton content? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favorite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all. <laughs>